Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Linda. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all. We are here on this fine Thursday. Hoping yeah. everybody's week has been well. Yes, we so are. So far, Friday is tomorrow. Yeah. And we need it all to come as quickly <laughs> as possible. On tonight's agenda, this has been something that's been coming up quite regularly on our channel. And also in my good old inbox, in my email is, let's start talking about my yeah. passion, my love. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> let's start talking about all inclusives versus cruising and go ahead and get into that with the audience on live. So I said, let's do it. We're going to speak to everybody and then we're going to get right into it. We're going to do a, a couple of housekeeping things as well. So, hey, Angela, Lady Ray. Yeah, what's up, fam? What's up, Tierra? Hey, Tierra. How's that baby doing? Indeed. Uh, um, what's up, Jason? Jason, Shaquina. What's hey, up, Shani? What's up, fam? Lisa, she loves my sweat. What's up, fam? Uh, Mary Beth Fats and Shreya. What's Tia up, fam? Zina. What's up, fam? Latoya, T. Austin, um, Ashley, Barbara, Tola. Yep. How are you doing, baby? What's up, fam? Miss Lisa, Lisa, Latoya. Hey, hey. What's I up? says TKP, Carla, E.J., Barbara, Lisa, Seth, Linda, T. Mason, Sandra, Latanya, Harry, and I have caught up. Michelle, yes, indeed. <laughs> Latisha, <laughs> Sabrina, <laughs> Inez, and Alicia. So hey, how, seriously. So how are we going to run this tonight? So we're going to... Hey, Deshaun. We're going to talk about uh, what we feel like the... Uh, comparing the two, and at the end... We want you guys to weigh in as well. Show For those them. you have done cruising and have done resorts, we want to see your input so we can let let everybody know what you what you know what you think after we finish talking. And also, if you have any questions, you can also put that so as comments and questions, y'all. So uh, absolutely, I still see some of y'all still speaking. What's hey, up? What's up, Patricia from Georgia? Baby, let me tell you, it has been a a week. It yeah. has been a week. Um, this weather has been weathering here in a good way. So it's yeah. really tricking my mind out because today was a day that I just didn't feel like working. And it was one of my heavier days. <laughs> I was like, Chad, I went to the dermatologist and I was like, I should take the rest of the day off. Right. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on on table? Hey, Dominique. What's up, Dominique? Yeah, Deshaun, you, you caught a live. I yeah. remember you from Mr. Sancho's. Indeed. Hey, Flower. So, hey, Linda. So I see there's 169 of y'all in the house. Don't forget to smash that like button. So let's go ahead and, and run it, baby. Well, let's talk about the housekeeping stuff first, because oh, okay. I always forget to tell y'all, and I take for granted or assume that everybody sees every live and knows everything that we're doing. So first of all, if you want to um, be in the know of our 2025 group cruises, make sure that you hit the link in the description field after the live has been published. That will give you a direct link to yeah. what we got going on on 2025. And also we are still adding to that list. Right. So periodically come back and check that. Also, if you also want to be on the email notification list, sign up for that as well. A whole bunch of y'all have been harassing me, and I'm going to say harassing, <laughs> because when I came on here as Lynette and Stanley, and I started becoming a travel agent, I ain't never told nobody I wanted to teach nobody how to do this. I ain't never told nobody that. <laughs> y'all literally knocked my door down until I did like two videos. I was like, that's going to get them off my back. Mm -mm. Y'all want me to teach and teach. So I have developed a class that I am going to teach travel agents, inspiring travel agents, how to get into this business and do it well and right. retain clients. That is going to be at the end of the month. We'll have that link in the description field as well. Yep. There is another class that's available that my husband has been teaching for a while now, and that is maximizing your potential with your online presence that helps your travel business. Right. So let's go <laughs> ahead. If y'all if y'all interested in that kind of thing, hit the link below after the live. We got on here quick, so we yeah. don't have no <laughs> links in the description field right now. Um, <laughs> so make sure you you circle the block, come back, check that out. We got you. Indeed. We're all right, so all right. let's run it about these all-inclusives 
and these <laughs> resorts. And let's tell you, uh, I'm going to give you just a little bit of history, right? Our channel kind of popped off from all-inclusive vacations. A lot of y'all might not even know that. Right. But we started going on all-inclusives, and our format has always been this. Go all the way back. Go all the way back to our yeah. channel. We have always prepared for trips, went on trips, did reviews after we got back, did Q&As on said trip. Rinse and repeat. Nothing different. It's right. just changed now that we do it more for cruising. So we did that. All of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, yeah, y'all help me out. Y'all did this. Y'all did this. Right. Did, went on a cruise with our family. Oh, God, you got to help me. Da, 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 da. The cruising thing just was the one that just went right out there, out there. Me being an all-inclusive girl, that's my, that's my thing. That's my pleasure. <laughs> it actually started making me, I'll say making me, start to appreciate the world of cruising in a way that I didn't have before. Right. So we're going to start talking about what the differences are from two people that love to do both. both. Yeah. And loving to do both came slowly for us. Yeah. Because at one point we were like, cruising is really just for our group trips and for our family vacations because they're easier. Now with knowing what we like. Right we will reach for a cruise when back in the day it used to be the second option. Right. So y'all have anything in the, in the um, chat yet? Everybody just still speaking. So right. you, you hey, can go hey, ahead hey, and hey, write hey. it. You can go ahead and All write right. The biggest difference is the cost structure. Cost. C-O-S-T. And the reason that we say it in this way is, yes, you may be able to get to an all-inclusive vacation. I'm just going to use I'm just going to use $2,500. You may be able to get to an all-inclusive and do what you got to do for $2,500. You also can do that same $2,500 and get on a cruise. But what the cruising does is you're hitting so many destinations at one, one time. time. Right. And being able to do that and check in some destinations off of your bucket list is very cost efficient. Yes. How many times can you say that you've you've crossed over to like two or three different countries within one trip without having to repack your bags, get on a flight, right. fly into another country, go through customs, go through all of that. All over again. Yep. All, risk and repeat. <laughs> so it is more cost effective in the end to go ahead and do cruising. But what all inclusives does is this is why I love them is because, for instance, Jamaica, which is my favorite country, if y'all didn't know that. If I'm going to Jamaica and I'm planning a trip to Jamaica, right. I'm already in the mindset that I'm going to explore the culture. I can't wait to get with my people that's going to look like me, speak like me. When we have jokes and crack on each other, we are all going to be able to relate because it's a relatability that I am reaching for when I go right. to said country. If you're on a cruise, most of the time you don't get to immerse yourself into the culture because you're just there for a set amount of time. Which is a few hours. Which is a few mm -hmm. hours. You're not able to get out, do the <clears throat> excursions with the locals. You're not able to eat some of the authentic food. Like, of course, you're going to have like your Americanized Jamaican food, but yeah, <laughs> go out in the sticks and really just be in Jamaica is a totally different experience than being on a cruise and basically just passing through, like right. having a cute little time. Like Dre say, I'm here for a little, not for a long time. <laughs> it's basically how it is. So for me, I like to go because I'm in the culture and the people that are at the resorts with me are there for the same, same thing. thing. Right. When you're on a cruise, you may just have people on the cruise because it's, they want to chill. They mm -hmm. don't care nothing about the destinations or it's a family vacation. Some right. people wanted to come. Some people didn't. So that energy you actually feel and experience on board. But if you go to an all-inclusive or a destination, everybody there wants to be there and right. do what it is that they're doing right. because it's intentional. See what I'm saying? All right, what you got, baby? Yeah, so everybody everybody is um still in the chat, still speaking. 
Um, but for me, it's 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 when it comes down to that to the cost, it's definitely because mm-hmm. you know, if I want to go to Mexico, uh Jamaica, Turks and Caicos, and Turks and Caicos, I had to pay three different costs mm-hmm. for a resort, but I can just get on, like you said, on one cruise and be able to hit all three. So for me, it's like all depends on like what your goal is. So like right. for me and the queen, our goal is to travel the world. Mm-hmm. And so trying to travel the world with just doing all inclusive, we saw is very inefficient because like you mm-hmm. said, you got to fly here, you got to fly there and fly here. Yeah. So going on a cruise, we get to experience way more countries at one time. And then also mm-hmm. it's almost like we get the cherry pick to be like, okay, we can, you know, try this country out before we, we try it out. Before we try it out <laughs> and be like, okay, we went to this part of Jamaica. Maybe we want to go back to mm-hmm. a resort. So yeah, that's that's what really got me in love with cruise cruising because of that. The the cost efficient. Of going to so many countries at you one time. You got the sampler, please. Yeah, that that right there. Yeah. All right. So another thing, when you go to all inclusives, it's exactly what it sounds like. Other than having to pay for like excursions, and some places make you pay for like their water sport excursions, but for the most part, at all inclusives, <clears throat> once you pay that fee, whatever that shit. That's it. That's it. Your Wi-Fi is included. All of your dining is included. Unless there's like an elevated dining on um on the property, most of them don't unless right. you have like a premier um area or something like that. Right. Then that could they could have their exclusive restaurants. But for the most part, all of your alcohol, all of your basic beverages right is all included. included. So yep. The nickel and doming is not there. When you do a cruise, yes, you pay twenty five hundred dollars for your fare. But now we need to start adding on those things like that's going to make Wi-Fi, gratuity, Wi-Fi, gratuities, water, especially dining. <laughs> yes, yeah, so soda it, package, yep. cheers package. Like the list goes on and on. Right. So you have to think about it like that. Yeah. So what else we got? All right. So I see some people in here talking about. I see. Uh, What's up? What's up, Claude? It says Sandals Resort in and Barbados. Barbados. Yes, Absolutely. indeed. Absolutely. Barbados is beautiful. Hey, I see, T-Rock. I see we got a super chat from Thank fam. You. What's going on, fam? Thank you for the $5 super chat. What up, fam? It's almost that time. Mm-mm-mm. I need uh, a packing video. Brought some Ooh. packing cubes. I hope they help. <laughs> I can pack light uh, worth <laughs> skit. <laughs> you can't, work, you can't pack work. light worth skit. Hey, I'm going to tell I you what's you. better than packing cubes, though. But since you already purchased them, I'm going to give you a hint. Military roll and then put them into your packing cubes and stack them like joints. I mean, Swiss rolls, and you'll be able to get a whole lot more, more. in yeah. there. Because yeah. until recently, all I did was um carry on only. But I've noticed that five days I can do and carry on seven days. I'm pushing it, <laughs> but but we just started doing seven day cruises, so yeah, right. So now we got to. So I got to get experience yeah. with putting seven days into a carry on. I haven't gotten there yet. Right. Thank you, Lady Ray. I so, just um I just took my braid braid out down, so that's why. Oh, it, you sure did. Yeah. I didn't realize you did that. Mm-hmm. Say, Sandra, say I got married in Sandals in Jamaica. That's oh, I know that was nice. That's what's up. Hey. <laughs> Say comment cruising all day, every day, variety and numerous options, food, entertainment, island destinations, and people. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So TKP, the exact same thing can go for an all-inclusive Inclusive. as well, except right. for the multiple destinations in one time. Now, right. yes, you can island hop, which is usually an option on all of the islands, but all of the things that you mentioned is the same exact thing. At an all-inclusive. But what I have, what I didn't hit on a while ago was a lot of people actually like the journey of the cruising right. to get to the destination. Right. Me, I'm not that person. I I go because we are going to this place, that place. Like I'm right. I'm agenda driven. There right. are some people that will jump on a cruise and don't give a darn about where it goes. That's not me. Because I feel like I'm better. Our goals are different. Our goals, goals are different. Our goals are different right. And I'm better. I'm better fed if I can fly somewhere, hurry up and get into what I'm planning to get into. So 
Yeah, so what else you got? Moni says, I use cruises more. And last year we did. Like yeah, we didn't we did. do all, uh -huh. in, like we usually mix it up. But last year, one, was an amazing year for Code Fund Travel. Shameless plug, if you need a travel agent, moi, Indeed. I can take care of your travel needs. But it was an amazing year for my travel business. And the opportunities to cruise were just endless oh, last yeah, year. It was crazy. <laughs> there were different companies, Virgin Voyages, that saw what I was doing for their brand. And they were like, I'm going to send you here or I'm going to give you some vouchers to use for this. And right. that. So who going to turn down something that's uh, free or almost free? Right. <laughs> Ain't going to do it. <laughs> Ain't going to do it. So we took a back seat to our all inclusives for last year and jumped at the opportunities that were presented to us. Now, what else? You all got? right. So I want I wanted to put it near. So like we was talking off camera. So basically, we feel like. When it comes to all inclusive and cruising, if if you're the person who have not tried either one of them, we feel like you should try both. Yeah. If you are a person that you've tried cruising and you're on and you've been on the fence, like should I try um resorts? You should try it. Yeah. Uh, if you, you have not know. given resorts any thought, just disregard everything we said and <laughs> cruise on with your bad self. Exactly. And then on the other side, if you just used to all inclusive resorts and that's all you do, and you've been thinking about cruising, watching cruise videos, you need to take a cruise because you would not know if both of them are for you or not or not until you try it. So absolutely. Yeah. So that's how that's what happened with us. So we tried both and we see that both of them has its brings, place. Yes, brings diversity. We get to travel more by combining them both together. And mm -hmm. it's been an amazing journey for us. So that that what we talked about off camera. We did. But while you you have your finger on that pulse, we also talked on care off camera about I can <laughs> brain going a, a million miles a minute. We also talked about the fact that every cruise line doesn't meet your expectations or fit your personality. Right. So for instance, I love me some carnival. Carnival is the cousins. I don't give a darn what nobody say right. about them, <laughs> but I am selective about which cousins I hang out with. Let's just keep it a buck. Right. I've told y'all once and I've told y'all twice that I only do newer ships or we do the ships that is close, that is docked in our home port. The reason that I only do newer ships or the itinerary has to be something I really want to go on is because it costs us so much money to fly out of Richmond, Virginia. If I have to fly out of here and go somewhere to get on a ship, the ship better be mm -hmm. worth it. Yeah. So there's an investment on our end that we're taking to even get to the ship. So we're going to select the latest, the best, or the itinerary just has to be so bomb that we're going to take maybe a, a older ship a or small L. or yeah small L on the older ship. Just a, yeah. just taking a little small L. But when we're in our <laughs> home port and we can get there by train for oh, about yeah. an hour, we'll we, we, we got to take smoking. whatever whatever smoking. Whatever smoking. We but, on I, it. but I say all of that to say until we branched out and started doing a Virgin Voyages, started doing a Royal Caribbean, we didn't know what our cruise personality really was. Right. Because like I said, we did cruises with family and we do them for groups. When we got on Virgin... I was like, hold on now, hold on, hold on. I'm conflicted in my spirit because this all-inclusive girl is feeling all of this. Like yes. this is <laughs> this is my vibe. Yeah. This is my energy. Like what's going on? And I quickly said, okay, I get it. I get it. So when you have people that are loyal to their brands, it's because they've they figured out what what fits their personality, what fits their needs, what fits their aesthetic. Right. I'm an aesthetics person. I'm not like way on the aesthetics side over there, but I right. like nice, clean lines, very neutral colors. Carnival drives me nuts. Although I love the cousins, the ships look like a clown threw up in them. Hey, but the celebration, the newer ships. But the celebration. Yeah. Clean lines, the blues, the, the the neutral colors. That's my that's my jam. All right. Let's see if uh, anybody got any questions or comments. I still see y'all speaking. Let's hey, see. hey, hey. What's up? 
Oh, the baby is great. She'll be here. She'll be on an all inclusive too. <laughs> Look, hers is paid for. <laughs> oh, what's, what's going up, on, Tavon? What'd you say, Tavon? I ain't heard from y'all in a while. Y'all, you better stop saying that. We right. were we missed one week and y'all <laughs> act like we've been gone for months. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what else are we gonna talk about? All, all right. right. So let's talk about the accommodations when it comes to all inclusives and when it comes right. to cruises. Of course, we already know cruises are pretty standard. Interior, ocean view, balcony, right. suites, and then you know it can tweak a little bit within those um categories, but not much. When right. it gets to being on an all-inclusive resort, you're going to have your villas, you're going to have your one bedroom master suites, you're going to have your president you clothes on the you're, takeover. Yeah, you're going to have the positioning of what your room is on the resort ocean view, ocean front, garden view, swim outs, things like that. And the rooms are naturally going to be larger, right? So you're going to be able to spread out, and the aesthetics usually match the exterior and the interior of the resort that you're on. Right. So that's one of the things that I do love is that it's a whole vibe. And also their spas at an all-inclusive will usually like blow you away. The ones on a cruise ship, it's a cruise spa. <laughs> right. But ones that are all-inclusive, it has that extra element, a posh. What else y'all talking about in All here? Right. Everybody is still speaking. I'm still looking for some questions. All right. Uh, what else? What there. else? Do, 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 do. All right. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the reason that I love all inclusives um, better. I will say I still love them better than I love cruises is because once I, I'm one of those people that once I'm in a place for a certain amount of time, I got to get out of it. Like I got to move positions. I got to be out and do something else at a resort. I can do that. If I'm on the resort and I'm tired of being at the resort, we can go on an excursion, right, an excursion yeah. roam the island, do this. If I'm at sea that day, then God darn it, I'm just at sea. Nope. <laughs> it's nothing I can, I mean, there is something you can do about it. It's highly frowned upon, but not, right. let's not do that. <laughs> but you can't get off until you're at your designated stopping points. And it's rinse and repeat. repeat. Right. So what else y'all got? I ain't talking about nothing else when it comes to, oh, but right. I will I say, see, oh. like my husband said, if you're on the fence, try it, try yeah. something and you don't know what you like or don't like until you try it. Right. Another point, I forgot to mention this. A lot of people choose cruising because sometimes it eliminates the need to fly. So right. people are able to drive to the port or even if they drive long distance to get to the point, it eliminates the need to get into the air. Then vice versa. A lot of people like myself who loves to fly will fly to a destination because right. one is quicker. You're able to get on, get, get, get to it. But some people don't enjoy the actual cruising. People get seasick. People's motion, like they they just don't fare well on the open ocean like that. Right. So even with the sea bands. Even with sea bands, mm -hmm. some people are afraid of water. For some reason, yeah. everybody thinks that they can outswim gonna, the ocean. And then they're gonna fall overboard. <laughs> and they're gonna <laughs> fall overboard. So <laughs> there's a lot of factors when it comes to it. But you're not gonna fall overboard. But the one thing that I can you're say not. is the culture of cruising is unmatched. Right. When I tell you 100. the cruise community is one of those things that it's like, once you locked in, you feel like you in an yeah, invisible you, yeah, game. You family for life, then yeah. Like you gotta get jumped out. You gotta get jumped out when you're at all inclusive. <laughs> it's really like there is a sense of community, but everybody is there to basically do their own thing on the island, where on the resort. Like they're not in love with. The community of yeah. being in an all inclusive. They just in love with going to this inclusive, that yeah. all inclusive, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when it comes to cruising, oh, the cruise community is locked in. Like, and and once you get in there, like I feel like we broke through 
and we were just accepted into it. Cause people will be asking like, y'all don't really cruise a lot, do y'all? No, we don't, uh, but we I'm do this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's smoke and mirrors, but I was like, like last year we did. But y'all, y'all welcomed us with open arms, and then y'all allow us to teach you. All right, we, do, we, we got we, we got a couple about. of super chats here. What's well, going thank you, on, Christopher? What's going on, Christopher? Thank you for the five dollar super chat. Greatly appreciate that. What's going on, Dragon, Dragon Film, Film Set? Set. Uh, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Just got off my first cruise, and, and you I'm addicted. addicted. Yeah. Glad I got that second one book. See what I'm that's talking how I about. I know you addicted. <laughs> Why is I got this curl right here, like like. They won't let you be great. Won't let me, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what uh what people got in the comments here. Session. What's up, Lisa? Hey, Lisa. Glad you. Well, able welcome. Harry said the rooms at resorts are awesome, awesome and include everything like a full size refrigerator, stove, stove washer, washer, and dryer. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And then most of them, if they bring the bottles of liquor in there, you can change them out to whatever you want. Like. With the resorts, I feel like you can customize your stay right. way more than you can on a cruise. All right. Tanya says, I love a good all-inclusive. High as high Eva and high as Zalara. Yes, sir. Top tier. Uh-huh. Say slim, say pack them mm -hmm. like joints. Yes, you do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to roll them clothes like joints. I mean, Swiss rolls. <laughs> hey, Angela, you're not late. You right on time. You right on time. Right on time. Said so leaving on Carnival Magic 331. All right. First solo cruise. It is suggestions. Solos have the most fun, in my opinion. So just be open. But yeah. also don't forget that although you're on vacation, right. everybody's intentions are not always good. So just don't put your guard down. Don't let your guard down. Have your head on a swivel. But also you'll be able to meet a lot of um solos. And depending on, you said Magic. Yeah. Most of the time they have a solo meetup on every cruise now, which I think is an amazing thing. Go, because then you start to form your own sense of community within other people that are traveling just right. like you. But you're going to have a great time. Just be open. Go to all of the show. Like, just be out. Yeah. And trust me, it's it's going to work out. So don't be scared. What's up, Addy? And What's going on, What's family? Going on, fam? Fam said, best value for the dollar. Cruises or all, in all inclusive. Cruises. Yeah. Cruises. Yeah. Yep. Get yeah. more bang for your buck. Get yeah. more bang for your buck. Hitting yeah. all those islands at one time. Mm -hmm. One flight to take. Yep. <laughs> and only got a pack. Uh, one, one, two times. Time, because you got a pack. Don't yeah. have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Foul Boom said, I'll be sharing your videos to people who like to cruise. I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate matter that, fam. We appreciate that. That's how a lot of people get over here. Somebody will see it or the person that's um, in charge of the group trip will be like, hey, let Lynette and Stanley teach you. <laughs> <laughs> Angela says she loves your hair. Thank you. What's up, LK Family Travel? What's hey, going fam. on, fam? All right, Say, I Lisa agree. Said, I agree. We want to show our kids different places and, and cultures. cultures. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely different. The the cultural experience is so different when you do an all inclusive. But the one thing I can say that I enjoy the the mesh of both worlds is yes. in some destinations you're able to do like a day pass to go to the to resort yep. and experience what a resort, what the feel is, what the vibe is while you're in port. Instead of just doing like the excursions, the ATV zip lining or whatnot, you can actually do a resort pass for that day. Right. So, Hey, what's, Tola. What's up, Tola? Tola said, try my first all-inclusive next summer at the beaches, at beaches in Jamaica. Jamaica. All right. So far, all the reviews have been good. Can't wait. We haven't did that one. Yeah, we haven't done that Yeah. One. Yes, indeed. Uh, I say, is it cheaper to leave leaving your, your car, car at the, at the hotel? Oh, to hotel or to catch an Uber at the port? In the my port. experience, Ubering has been cheaper for us. Um, and I will say, like, we haven't driven to a port location and left our car in a long time just because we feel like transporting there is cheaper, more cost effective. Like, we don't even, right. it, unless Uber or Lyft don't pick us up early in the morning, 
because we usually fly out like at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But we don't even take our car to the airport and park it for the week. It's cheaper for us just to get Uber and Lyft to take us to the airport and, and bring us back home. Right. So true. What's up, Sherry? Said hello. I'm new to your channel, and I first want to say I love your vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Second, y'all help me plan my uh, help with, with planning my family cruise okay. this May. I thank y'all for your help and we giving appreciate information. Appreciate that. Anytime. Indeed. That's why we're here. Indeed. What's up again, Christopher? Christopher said, "Love you." What's a good cruise to do in May? any of them like yeah. may is my month to cruise like mm -hmm. if you ask me what month to cruise is gonna be may yep. so like i said it just depends on what your vibe is or have you did have you gone on a cruise line before if not you may want to switch it up right hit another one and see what that's like so, so angela said question never been to resort work are so what, what are, are so good, good recommend good. so good recommendations family, family and, and adults, adults only, only. So family, I will say it's it's a pretty penny. Don't get it twisted, but you will see why it costs what it costs. Hard Rock and Punta Cana, if you want to go on a family escape, that's the one to do. Also Nickelodeon, that one is in Cancun. Very great place to be. Even adults be going there by themselves. I think it's a little <laughs> weird, but anyway, adults only. If you are trying to do more of a I'm with my boo type of thing, like we're not trying to, we're not, it's setting up, this, it sets the stage for a good time, if you know what I'm saying. Unico 2087. Fact, I, I can show it to her right now. Oh, you Unico. got it. Yeah, you can keep on talking. So I'll Unico 2087 screen. is going to set a good all adult vibe. Also, Ocean Eaton Bay in Jamaica. Um, Hyatt Zalara. That's all adults. The Ziva side is family friendly. Can't go wrong. Yeah. So this is the the Unico uh, twenty eighty seven. That's yeah. in Riviera Maya. I, I still call it Cancun. It's it took us what like forty minutes to get there from the airport. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this was uh, this was actually a, a group trip. And one thing I forgot to say, like no, I did say it. That what you just saw was a specialty restaurant, but it's all included. The only thing you had to do was, and we had our own concierge. So a lot of times, depending on the resort, you get a butler, a concierge that's a that is assigned to you. And ours text us every morning, wanted to know what we wanted to do, what yep. do we need him to do, what and it was. it was taken care of. So our entire trip was kind of <laughs> like, doo -doo. all right, here you go, I show up at Abachi. And we had basic every time we went somewhere, we kind of had it exclusively it for our, our little group that we had. Right, we did. Yeah, we had man, we had time. We out had life. a time out there. Oh, you hear what I say? Oh, we had a time. Man, we, we talking did. about doing it again, not as a group, just as our friend group. Yeah. <laughs> doing up? it again. What's up, Ryan? Ryan said got married at Sandos and Ocho, at Ocho Rios. And uh went back. For uh, one at over oh, a year, trying to plan our first ever cruise this fall. Okay. I've been binging your videos since I found the channel. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's, that's how it happens. Yeah, that's how it happens. That's how it happens, man. Like Stewie said, that's how it happens. All right. Say, so, what's the maximum number of cruises you and your fam have been in one year? Uh, eight. 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 And that was last year. Yeah, that so, was last so year. So don't think eight. that that's normal. <laughs> that is not normal. <laughs> it's not our norm at all. Yeah, we got we went over the top last year. Yeah, and we've even like this year, we've been on two this year, two technically already. No, that's a lie. Three. We've been on three already this year, but we said we not gonna go hard like we did last yeah. year. Yeah, and we're gonna we, take it easy. So. From the time we got off of Icon, we've been home. Like we, we're gonna take our moms on a vacation next month, within a yeah. couple of weeks. Right. And then going to a resort. <laughs> and we're going to a resort. And then after that, our next trip will, will be on our group cruise on mm -hmm. Carnival Celebration. It may. What's up? What's up, Jet? Um, Janine. Did I say that right? Janine. Janine. Yeah, I think so. Uh, question: Do you have a recommendation for an all-inclusive in Turks and Caicos? I don't. I don't, unfortunately. Second question. What's, what's going on, Raymond? How anyone you doing? sound off in the comments if you do. 
Um, how do you choose an all inclusive <laughs> by, by golden, golden apples? apples. <laughs> all right. <laughs> like now, <laughs> I will say choosing an all inclusive sometimes takes a little bit of work. And usually I tell people start where they were intrigued because most of the time people are intrigued by something that they saw and they start to seek that thing. Right. So if you saw a commercial for sandals or you saw your, your good buddy on Facebook post a picture, start where they started and start doing your research on what is it that they offer at the resort? What, what is their nightlife like? Always, I mean, you're on YouTube right now. YouTube is golden yes. when it comes to being able to give you a bird's eye view of what's really going on on the resort. Start researching people that look like you because their their vibe usually is like yours and their interests are usually like yours. So right. start looking that kind of way and you'll you'll quickly learn what you do like and what you don't like. There are some people that are people like us that don't have children and they exclusively only want to do adult only. Being with children on a resort does not bother me. I mean, it really doesn't bother me on cruises either. But right. if I had a choice, I don't want to. But at a resort, because there's so much for them to do, even with kids there, you don't really feel like they're there. Right. Like we were at Hard Rock, and that's a family resort. But and yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's so big. Yeah. yeah. You didn't. Yeah. We only really <laughs> yeah. saw the kids when we went to the water park. Because yeah. we went into their domain and acted like real big kids, yeah. and we had a ball. <laughs> we did. But also at this family resort, they have a topless pool. Like there's a Garden of Eden or Eden pool where you're topless. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so find your vibe. All right, let's see. What's up, Fire? Say I'm ready to try a new cruise line. I've been a carnival girl. I understand. Totally understand. Yep. But now that you want to try something, you kind of got to ask yourself, what are you seeking? Yeah. So for me, I wanted to seek better aesthetics. I wanted to seek better food. Mm -hmm. um, but I also wanted a turn up. Yeah. So I get that with Virgin. It's not carnival's turn up. But it's my opportunity to shake a leg, act a fool, go to bed, and eat some good food at the Pink Agave, uh -huh. and go to the steakhouse and do what I do. That part. And it's all included. It gives me my all-inclusive vibes. So I've done a resort and cruising, and I'm more partial to cruising. cruising. And that's, that's and, and, But you know. But you know now, right? Because you, you know. try both. Right. So I got an email saying you have some rooms available for the cruise this year, that's an old email, baby. You 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 open that up like a week late. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that one is shut down. The one from May is shut down now. Since we have reached final payment, and I have gotten everybody that no, we talking about July. No, it's yeah. over. Well, both of them are closed at this moment because we're in the planning phase now. What's up, Commander? Glad you was able to catch us. Says Carnival Glory, a good ship to cruise on. You don't want to ask us. <laughs> yeah, that was our. It wasn't the cruise. It wasn't the cruise. It though. was. It was us. But um, a yeah. lot of people enjoyed our boy Q, who's our um photographer. When we do our group cruises, he loves it. Like yeah. that's his vibe. He might be in the comments now. But a lot of people love the glory. I can't honestly give you, like we said, we can't give you a real opinion about it because our trip just sucked so bad. Yeah, now that was that and that was wasn't our, on them; that was on us. Yeah, that was our first cruise, and we weren't prepared, so we didn't have um, that we knew of anybody. We're that, not the we weren't the Stanley and Lynette that yeah, you see we didn't now. have nobody <laughs> to, to to help us out and all that. So that was the reason why we jumped in here and did this to be able to help out. The first time cruisers, mm -hmm. so they won't make the blunders that we made and yeah, and, and decide that you don't want to ever do that shit ever again. Yep, because <laughs> we were done with cruising. Yeah, we were like, I'm not doing this, is boring. And it took us a while. It took us a while to be like, okay, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> What's up, Latanya? I said finally caught. Can't believe I caught a live. That's, what, that's what's up. I'm we try to be here almost every Thursday at yeah. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The yeah. only time that we really try to take a break is one, we out of town. It just is what it is. And if we have posted a video that day, yeah. then we'll take a back seat and act grown and let the video marinate. What's up, uh, Alicia? Uh, catching my first live finally. Hello hey. from snowy Colorado, about 16. <gasps> 
16 inches so far and still snowing. Let love y'all's channel. Thanks for all the amazing content. We'd love to do a group cruise with y'all. Listen, yeah. we are we, love to have you. we were due to be in Colorado next week. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot about that. The oh fl- man. Oh my god. Yeah, we would have been down there in the snow. I think some of them are still going. Our flights were just insane. Like our flights were insane. I was like, this is a like this is like partial to a cruise price for the flight. So we were, I was just like, I can't do it. But yeah, we got we got some peoples that will be on the ground next week. All right. I see it's 475 of y'all in the house. If you are getting any value out there live, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Mm-hmm. All right. Say so be on the celebration for Thanksgiving. That's gonna be cute. That is going to be cute. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. And the one thing I do like about the celebration is <coughs> the, I'm not going to say the variety of food venues is endless, but they have a great variety of places to eat. So you'll be able to make your Thanksgiving, a, you know, more special. But you know what? You were on a cruise last Thanksgiving. That's where we met you. We met him at Mr. Sancho's on Thanksgiving, Deshaun. In the pool. Oh, yeah. 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 We showed up. Oh, so you running it back. Yeah. Yes, sir. I have a good memory of when I connect the dots of where I've met you and and, in our interaction, I never forget it. So I think he drove drive a truck. Yep. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's always <laughs> sure do. Yeah, man. What's up? What's up, man? What's going on? Jerome said, question is being a travel agent worth quitting your job and doing it full time. I will From tell our you this, standpoint, y- yes, yes, but yeah, do not quit nothing until it has replaced and has proven itself to continue to thrive in the area of income. Or you've put aside three, six, or 12 months worth of income so, well. so that 12 is more better. Yeah. So that when you, if, when, when you're not making money in your agency, because you're building, mm-hmm. you will have yeah, income that coming in. So while you're building your business, you ain't worried about how you're going to pay your mortgage and your light bill mm-hmm. and get groceries and stuff like that. So you can do it without that. Some people do have that and have the faith to do that, but I feel like you can eliminate that. Yeah. Just having, having that in your corner. And yeah, then the other thing about, yourself. about being an agent, if you just live off of just the commissions, sometimes you don't get the commission to like six, 12, mm-hmm. Sometimes 24 months because you don't get it until the client right. actually pays Sales. the crew, pays yeah, it off, pays it off and then sale. Yep. Um, so but they have to cut it. But if they don't sell, it gets retracted back. Yeah. So like, yeah. for instance, if if you've paid your crews off and I get my money from the commissions and then down the line, you'd be like, mm, Lynette, my job won't let me off. I'm going to have to go ahead and cancel. <laughs> I have to take the money out of my bank account and pay back the cruise line. For the commissions that they pay me because you're no longer going, which makes my commissions not protected. Right. So those are things that I'm going to be teaching in my class is that That's what I'm ready to say, yeah. you have to kind of set yourself up for success from the beginning. Right. And like he said, if you're like a lot of my clients are booking out to 2026, as far as the calendar will go right. is when I have clients scheduled. Guess when I'm going to get a check from them? Well, not from them, from the cruise line, 2026. Right. So from now to 2026, I'm servicing. I am helping. I'm doing my part, but I'm not going to get any money. So you kind of got to set yeah. yourself up knowing that some months you may not get anything. Right. Some months you might get a $30,000 check and you'd be like, yes, this is what's <laughs> up. Then the next month it'd be 800. Like right. <laughs> it's not going to be consistent. Right. But that's the life of an entrepreneur. But that's the life of an entrepreneur. Yeah. So it's definitely a mind mindset shift, like from looking for a paycheck every week, or every two weeks in entrepreneurship. Now nah, it don't work that way. Yeah. Yeah. But you take my class, I'm gonna teach you how to how yeah. to help that out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> so what out. you asking, yeah, we definitely gonna be teaching that in the class about about quitting your job and doing it full time if that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let me see. What's up, Keisha said completely unrelated, but what's what you're going to what's your go to spot for seafood? seafood? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, nowhere here. Yeah, nowhere they, they, here. Yeah, like, it's, it's the, yeah, since the pandemic, it just been like we never had it. 
here. It used, it used to it used to be um what you call it in Williamsburg um who for seafood in Williamsburg um you know what I'm talking about um oh, that Captain place? George no yeah Captain George used to be really good but then they started being like hitting and missing. So like we don't even take the drive no more because yeah. like we don't know if it's gonna be on or off. We um if you want good seafood, to be honest, you have to go to the where the water is, Maryland. Yeah. Uh, or Maryland, as my family would say, tide water area. If you go down to like Tappahannock, where I'm from, um, down in those areas, that's where you're gonna start getting good seafood. Right. And it's not even like you have to go to a restaurant to get it. You can go to hole in the walls, it's gonna be on point. Right. What's up again, Latanya said, question, should I wait to book another cruise while on the cruise for extra perks? It depends. It depends yeah. on if the math is mathing and the perks are perking. Oh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just depends. Um, to be honest with you, I have the only time that I have booked something on board is in the form of like a future cruise voucher. That's right. the only time it's made sense to me. But because I don't got to choose my cruise right then. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like what they offering me, I could come home and do myself, if that makes sense. Right. What's up? What's up? Going on, Eric, Eric. The legend said, I took my wife, took my first cruise because my wife wanted to be at the beach. And once we find a good one, we are going to stay in one all inclusive. Okay. Kind of the dream was okay. Food had no salt, yeah. so all inclusive might be. I guess, might I guess you probably yeah. say might be the might be the might move. Be the, might be the move. Yeah, yeah. And, and like, and to be honest with you though, um, across the fleet from cruising and and all inclusive, we feel like it's it's a hit and miss when it comes to the food. It's yeah. all it's, and then at the end, and we get it because they're cooking in batches. Yeah. So the only, the only, from our experience, the only place we feel like it's been the consistent is Virgin. Virgin and Unico. Yeah. Unico's, Unico's yeah. food, 2087. Yeah, that was, that was really Superior. good. Superior. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we tried anything there that we didn't, didn't like. like. Right. It was, it was good food. Agreed. Going was... on, Sherry. What's up, Sherry? Um... Lady Ray said, book the sale on Virgin for New Year's Eve. Come on That's now. what's up. That's what's up. Say so we're flying into Miami and was wondering what hotel do you recommend? Well, since you're already going to be spending the good dollars, you might as well stay at the Intercontinental. Uh-huh. But if you don't want to spend those dollars, you can stay at um, Even Hotel. That'll be a good choice. If you want to do more um, a budget-friendly, Hilton Downtown. Is a good one. Hampton Inn, Brickle is a good one. Um, I did share um, a link last week that has all of my recommended recommended hotels, and we're also going to throw that in the description field after the video. Yeah, because we'll put that in there. Yeah, right yeah, now we, ports. yeah, yeah. When I tell you we sat in this seat at six fifty nine. Oh, then in night for shuttle service, we just use it just catch an Uber. Yeah. Left. That's the easiest. I'll be honest. Ever since the pandemic, for some reason, shuttle service is not shuttling the way it used to back in the day. So we have chart, we have hired shuttles, and they literally did not pick us up. Right. So now I just do Uber and Lyft. Mm -hmm. They come. I mean, you order an Uber, and it, you can track it. it you, you can know track it's coming. It's gonna be there in three you minutes. You know it's coming, just like your Amazon package. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> can they almost hear every day? No shade, though. Oh, no, no pun intended. Oh, very much. No shade. pun intended. Very much shade. But What's going on, Rundo? What's up, bro? Said question: If Carnival is the cousins, which all-inclusive resort is the cuss? Ryu. <laughs> Yo, I knew you would say. <laughs> Ryu. I knew he was going. <laughs> Re freaking you. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but I would tell you this. If you stay at a Ryu, stay at the palace. So they'll have like Ryu reggae, Ryu da 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 da. Stay at the palace. They are nice, but party at the other ones. Message. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Jason said, just book on the icon. Yay! Wasn't on my radar till <laughs> your video. <laughs> Do you recommend the ultimate dining package? Now, thinking back, I will say yes. 
we didn't do it. And I don't feel like there was a lot that we missed, but because cruise food is cruise food, I feel like we could have had a more elevated dining experiences if we did have that package. So right. I said, go for it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we go back. I, I definitely would, would want to do it. Mm -hmm. What's up? Lakeisha said hi. Uh, um, kid, how kid friendly are all inclusive compared to a cruise? They're the same in my opinion. And maybe the all inclusives are better because you just have the mass. Like, like Francis Hard Rock, like we said, it's an entire water park. Like when I say water park, it's like putting your local water park on a property and it was massive and it had its own food trucks and ice cream machines and different pool. Like, so I think all inclusive might have that edge. Right. They also have um childcare. Most of them hard rock had a theater. Um, what did we, they had bowling. Mm -hmm. They had um, laser tag. Laser tag oh, that was fun. Rooms. We played that one. Yeah, yeah that so one yeah, so they they the options are pretty endless when it comes to um all inclusives, and of course with cruises it's a little bit more limited because it's the space. But yeah, they they have childcare and all of that. Yep. What? Oops. Well, not this one. This. Did we get this one? I yeah. don't think so. Well, no, thank we you, Jason. Thank you, Jason, for the one ninety nine <laughs> super chat. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Indeed, thank you, Kim. We appreciate yep, thank it. Thank you for the one ninety nine. Kim said May two thousand twenty four on the mm -hmm. Jubilee, October two thousand twenty four okay. on the Magic, and May twenty fifth on the Panorama. You just right. doing the thing. That's what's up. Look, you have more vacations booked than I do. <laughs> I need to get on it. What's up, Kaylee? Say, hey, fam. I love your videos. My faves all inclusive resource yes, is uh, Mexico. Yeah. That's um, G's um girl was telling us about. It. I haven't did it, but she loved it. So I, I trust you. So do y'all recommend? Oh, oh that's God, Jason. That's Jason. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, got you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, and put your wallet back in your pocket. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you for the four ninety nine. Though we greatly appreciate it. All right, so uh, let me see. Oh, we got we this got one. I right got that one. All right, what's thank going you, on, Oliver? Thank Swiss. you for the two dollar super chat. What's the average age of cruisers, older or younger? All the way across the board. Yeah, all the way across the board. Now, I will say, when you get to longer voyages, yeah, you then you older. get the older crowd because right. one, they got the coin; two, right. they got the time off. <laughs> right, or um, or more of the more expensive cruises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're more into the journeys, so. Yeah, so shorter cruises, you're going to get more of the younger. Um, five to seven, it's going to be a good mix. Yep. What's going on, Mad Hop 333? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you for the $5 Appreciate super chat. So I love the first time cruise tips question. Do you ever have a military member or, or a veteran on your cruise? And how far out do you book? Yeah, um, they they on Carnival, and I'm not sure for Royal. So if you know this, put it down in the comments. But Carnival actually has a a morning dedicated to their veterans, their the, those that have served in the military. It's really nice. I've walked in and um peeped in on those, and it's really nice. But if you're asking about discounts, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. It's one of those things where they take the numbers here and do like this, flip them. So most of the time, your military discount is going to take away any onboard credits that you may be able to get. So when people um, book with me and I see that they or they tell me that they are um, military, I just weigh the options and present the best deal. Right. And do it that way, because sometimes it's not even worth it. What's up, Natasha? Thank you so much for the 1999 super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Say appreciate going it. on the carnival celebration, the end of June 2024. All right. Your videos and lives have really helped me out. Love the channel. All Thank right. you so appreciate much. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Say fam. We just going to miss you by a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be on there for Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> And then, fun fact, I have some family coming with me as well. That wasn't supposed to happen. 
<laughs> but we have like what about six family members that's coming? Yeah, that's flying out with. All right. Oops. If I can do this right. Classy said, do you plan to go on any all inclusive? Then I see you have another question. Are you still <laughs> going to Bora Bora? Bora Bora in the in the farther future. Yes. Yeah, that's like further um, like yeah, that so is, be working our way up. That's a hot that's gonna be after our second round at Greece and all that because it's gonna be high ticket hits. Yeah. Um, are we doing all inclusives this year? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know, but I am planning an all inclusive group trip for next year for 2025. Yeah. But as far as us, I want to, but I can't say I am because I am so knee deep in planning the groups that I got. <laughs> it yeah. might be just so one maybe. of them. <laughs> yeah. So it might be just one of them things where I'm just like, let's go. <laughs> and Stella be like. Where we going again? Yeah. Hey, y'all, we over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't tell us you do it no more. Don't you mock me? I'm no like, Stanley, we're not in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll be in the vicinity, man. Mm -mm. What's up again? Ert, the legend said once we get somewhere, we felt rushed to see and mm -hmm. to get back on the boat and not have time to shop for souvenirs. Yes. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yes. Yeah, a lot of you guys in, in the um, St. Thomas video oh, yeah. was asking like, why was our time cut short? Did we know it before we got on the cruise? Um, yes and no. Yes and no, yeah. It was it was already short, but they shortened it again, again when we was on a cruise. And we were like- Yeah, so that's why we didn't go nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like you my ain't gonna opinion. leave me in St. Thomas. So in my opinion, this is this is me speculating, right? I think that the taxes and port fees were so expensive for that massive ship to be there in <laughs> St. Thomas territory. I think that's why we had to get up out of there. Like the, the get out, go. Cause I don't know if y'all understand like how taxes and port fees work when it comes to these cruise ships. That's why they will leave you. How it works is when you pay your taxes and port fees um, within your cruise fare, what is already calculated in there is how long that ship has to be in that port. They have to take that money and pay for instance, Nassau Bahamas, for instance, Falmouth, Jamaica, they have to pay that money for you to be there at a calculated amount of time. So just think about it as like being in a cab. Mm. When that meter runs down, they got to get that bastard up out of there because if not, they got to pay fees and fines in order for that ship to be there longer than they have paid and allotted for. Right. So I'm thinking that had a lot to do with the fact that, all right, the money's running out. Is it's too high to be here? We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Paula? Said, what are some good resort companies? What do you mean by that? Like brands? I think it's brands. That's what I was taking as brands. Good brands. Um, what is it? AIG is a very good one. Um, Hilton. They're very limited in how many all inclusives they have, but their all inclusive resorts are good. Um, I used to like Grand Palladium. I don't really like them anymore. Um, they definitely went down after the pandemic. Yeah. Um, Hyatt are great. Um, yeah, that's, that's, those are my tops. Of course you got your secrets, your sandals and things like that. But when you get up there, I start to feel like the fun is a little bit more limited, honestly, mm. in my opinion. Gotcha. All right. Let me see. Oops. Got that one. All right. What's up again, Kim? Thank Sorry. you for the $4.99 <laughs> super chat. I got you. Got you, Kim. <laughs> I got the mini book because got of the casino the deals. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at you. Jason. Look, I tried Jason. to I tried to see. Here's the funny thing. I tried to like trigger. <laughs> <laughs> trigger the casino deals on um the icon. Rich immediately told me, "Oh, oh that, 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 that you, you no got you got to come up. You got to you got to <laughs> that, that ain't, ain't enough. Not, that ain't nothing, Lynette. You got to you got to put some more money in with fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Rich looked at me like I put two dollars in there. $50. I was like, that's not funny. I, I'm not putting no more money but in I there. I told you, I said, baby, we ain't fitting that. That that don't that man don't even work." <laughs> you put 50 in and get a whole cruise. I think everybody on this chat 
would do that. <laughs> I was going to put more than 50, but I was like, let me test it out. But I'm going to be honest. I put a $50 bill in there and that damn going machine kept me there for like two hours. Yeah, it kept me there for two hours, but you didn't get a free cruise. I though. ain't get no free cruise, though. I ain't, I ain't even get an offer. You hear? <laughs> Not even an offer. Jason, put your wallet back in your pocket. <laughs> but thanks again you. for the $4.99. We set. definitely appreciate it. All love, you. fam. We all. <laughs> <laughs> all your content and have learned so much. That's what's up. That's why we here. What's up, John? So thank you for the $10 super chat. Hello and thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you got? What you got? All what right, you got? We... Yeah, got. All right. So uh, uh what's our favorite all-inclusive? What's our favorite all-inclusive? I have different that's ones for different one right reasons. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah. Now, I will tell you this. As much as I say I probably wouldn't visit a Grand Palladium again, it was the ultimate yeah. fun that I've... I mean, it really set the stage for me loving all inclusives. So I, I have to put that on the list. I will also... If you're trying to do something a little bit less, like a little low-key, but with the aesthetics, with the elevated food, um, just a good time, good vibes... Unico does that. Make sure you get a swim up. Unico 2087. Yeah. Um, Hyatt Zalara, um, Jamaica. Top tier. <laughs> um, what else? And for like we said, for the family resorts, definitely will do any of the hard rocks. You you're gonna understand why you pay the price. Because the the variety is just crazy. Right. Will I say that the food is the best? No. At least Putacana's food was not the best. Right. What's up, Pat? Said, so can you take a bottle of liquor with you on a cruise ship? You can if you want to take him. Yeah, I wish <laughs> no, you could. You can't. Yeah, you can't do it. Nope. That's their money maker. They definitely are not going to let you take that on. Right. So, so what about destinations that don't have all inclusives? That that definitely does happen. Aruba yeah. is one of those places that is very slim, if any. So is Hawaii. So, um. Yeah, right. you just have to go with a resort and just pay as you go, as you would, kind of like a cruise a little bit. Right. <clears throat> so again, flowers, flowers, I, I love, love cruise. cruising. I'm going on one in June of 2024. All right. That's what's so, up. Say I got my eye on, on Sandals Royal Swim Up. Can't go I wrong. Know, I know that's right. Can't go wrong. You about to show off. What's up, Gabby? Hey. Beautiful thumbnail. Say new to this, what are the all-inclusive cruise companies? There aren't any, but if you want to get close, like 95% all-inclusive, Virgin Voyages. Um, if you want to go Lux, right. then, you're, say, yeah. then you're going up there. Yeah. <laughs> you're going yeah, up yeah, there. You're paying a premium there. You, yeah, you, 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 you can really, drop yeah. eight to ten thousand dollars, but what you're gonna get is mostly an all-inclusive. Everything, is in, everything included. included some excursions. Well, yeah, excursions too. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's seven five seven. Yeah. Two up, two, two down. The classes I want to fly to Barbados. Yeah. Gabby said I'm going on our first cruise in August. You All both right. have been very helpful. You're so welcome. But Barbados, I want to do what Rihanna said. She said you gotta go get some fruit, like uh, like a mango or something like that, and take it to the ocean. And then eat it. <laughs> it's it's the most gross thing that you can think of, but you and Rihanna said it. I gotta do it. Say so which all inclusive um destinations have you been to? So we've been to uh, Jamaica, Mexico, Mexico, Dominican Republic. Republic. I think that's. I think, I think that's that it. might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah then we jumped Some on the cruise circled, and But yeah, right. And that's we. And that's what we saw too. Like it. So that's like going to like one resort a year. Yeah. Yeah. So then the pandemic came. And so then you couldn't do resorts. So yeah, we were supposed to be going to Aruba two years ago. And that didn't happen. All right. So we live in Mobile and have the carnival spirit. We live in Virginia and technically we don't have anything right now. Yeah. Um, and then Baltimore has legend. 
Pride, Legend Pride. I don't, I can't remember which one switched off, but we understand. And Baltimore, unfortunately, can't do anything bigger because of the um, bridge. The ship can't go underneath the bridge, but we don't have that issue. We had the magic, and then they 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 repoed her, took her yeah. from us, yeah, took her to back to Miami. Miami. Yeah. And then they're going to give us the sunshine. What's up, T Glass? I think I saw hey, your fam. message earlier uh, about uh, coming back off a of version. Huh? Oh, yeah. so question all inclusive resort entertainment versus ship entertainment. Which do you think is better? I found that resort entertainment to be very American focused and dated, like YMCA on repeat, depending on the resort. Yeah. So if you are going to like a true party resort, it's like a rave. But if you're talking about like the stage shows, for some reason, all inclusive have this very unhealthy love for Michael Jackson's appearance. Yeah. Like, I don't understand <laughs> what it is about the Michael Jackson. Everybody sick. love Michael, man. That's why. I don't get it. But well, other yeah. than that, I feel like they're kind of on par, but depending on the resort is when you start to get like the bubble parties and um, glow nights and paint nights where they paint you up and stuff like that. So can we, can you book a resort through me? Uh, uh. Unfortunately, although it's something that I love to do, cruises keep me so insanely busy mm -hmm. that it, I would throw my transmission out trying to change gears in the middle of the flow of how much cruising comes in for me. So I used to try to do both. And I'll be honest, the switching gears, like I said, I dang near took my clutch out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had to kind of just stay where the flow is flowing. But I yep. definitely have people that I could recommend you to who are equally as amazing. Yep. And that's for sure. And one of them was in the chat a few minutes ago, Addie and Terry. They are amazing travel agents. Wherever we are getting awards, they are too. Kim, you too. Mm -hmm. Put your wallet back in your pocketbook. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. Y'all don't always win, but I, I uh, win with twenty four k last year. Well, so I get offers. All yeah. See. see I 24 mean. K, so you want 24 24 carry magic in the air. So the question, the question is what I used to ask people. How much? How much did you put in before you won the 24 K? Or but do you, you don't have think, to answer that. No, no, don't answer. Yeah, <laughs> you can send me an email. Or do you think you have gambled twenty four thousand dollars of your own money away? Right. I want to know that. Or if you get half, I will give you some free cruises too. Hello. There you go. Which one you want? You want interior, balcony, a <laughs> suite? <laughs> you want somebody to come over and rub your feet? I got you on that too. <laughs> we just picking on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> say, oh Lord, I'm late. No, you're always on time. What's up, True Story J? Thank oh, you. Are you talking for about the thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the $2 super chat as well. Greatly appreciate that. Mm -mm. There she go. What's up, hey, Rachel? Raquel. How was everything? Say, so, have you heard anything on the carnival of Phoenicia? Phoenicia, first time going on a ship, and I can bring. Can I bring water, or do I have to pay for their water? Haven't heard anything different than what's already out there. But you cannot bring water unless you bring it in cans or cartons. They will allow that, but bottle water you have to purchase from them ahead of time. So make sure you pre put that um, in and can take care of that. Indeed. It's Dollar Tree water. I will say that. I don't understand like making us pay $10, $11 for Dollar Tree water. Right. What's up, Latanya? Said question. Should I wait to book another cruise while on my cruise for? Oh, you oh we you, already did that yeah, one. Yeah, I guess yeah. so that sounds familiar. Yeah, that did sound familiar. Say, I like to fly in. You see so much more. You don't have to go to the ship. I agree. Right. I agree. And and I'm and I like to be in the culture of people. Like I love vibing with people and locals and right. eating the that, like that, real food. Yeah, because because <laughs> like what we normally do, even whether we're at a resort or. On a cruise, we usually talk to the crew about their family. Like yeah. if you if you ever want to really connect with crew, 
start talking about family because and we do it because they are away from their family months at a time and then they go home they have a few months then they back, back at, at it, it again. again so just to you know just bringing up their family letting them know that you do care that you stepping away from your family for months at a time to make sure that i yeah i'm taking have care a of. good vacation and majority of them do it for real it's from their heart it ain't yeah. like they trying to impress you but they really want you to have a fantastic vacation yep so yeah C connect with them on that level it's life changing mm -hmm. and even resorts yeah. so when we the first time we went to jamaica here's the crazy thing when i tell you that that jamaica vlog is what put our channel on the map for travel we got there and people were yelling our names and we we're like the yeah. heck? come to find out that their employees watched us yeah and they immediately just started like talking and they even like one was like i'm going home and da 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 da, da. would y'all like to come and meet my children and i'm like oh wow i'm honored <laughs> <Right>. but no <laughs> 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 but yeah, so even at resorts, you got to realize that some of those people don't go home often. They right. live on the resorts and some of them are roommates with each other. I didn't know that until we start talking to them. What's up? Connected Kit says the bubble is bubbles. Is that only soda and juice? Correct. Bubbles. Soda. The soda. But there are some juices that you can get for free, like in the uh, fountains. Uh, for breakfast, if you like, what is it? The uh, uh, um, what's the juice that we always mix? Oh, the guava juice. Yeah, the guava juice. Yeah, had a brain freeze. <laughs> but some questions said cruise food is usually better than the all inclusive. You think so? Which are all inclusive you been to? <laughs> so? Like I said, I think it's hit and miss. But it can be hit and miss. Yeah. What's up, Leah? My first time, and you answered my question. Thanks oh, so much. Absolutely. You're so welcome. Definitely. That's one thing you're going to do. Like, we can't get everybody, but yeah, we're going to try to hit as much as we, we can. can. And yeah. even in the comments, if you miss a live and you have a question about something, put it in the comments. I answer yeah. all comments. Yeah. And even if it's something that I feel like you, it's just more of a comment, I'm going to heart it and, and keep on going. But every comment gets attention over here. Like, right. we, we're not that big. I mean, we're we're sizable, but we're not too big to pour into the people yep. that make this ship happen. Yep, that part right there. What's up? What's up, Kimberly? Love you guys. Hey. First live, so excited! I have been binging on the videos. Yeah, we Love them all. That. Uh, you you all look so good together. Thank Going you. Going on the Venetia in June seventeenth. Whoop whoop. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, Kimberly. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Aaron? What's, What's up, going on, family? Fam? Said cruising is an addiction. Almost 20 years in and can't stop, Woo. won't stop, would never stop. <laughs> <laughs> like Ric Flair say, woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Van Vanessa says I like cru I like cruising solo. It allows me to do what I want. Yep. Yep. Why you put it down? I can't oh, see it. Oh, my bad. I was um, going to swing to another direction. Now. Being the go-to person is tiring, so going alone truly feels like a baby, honey. Now I have I haven't went on a solo um, vacation, but I will tell you that's why we do vacations with just us, and then we do groups, and then I do some that I can't even let my family hear me say because <laughs> they will tag along and although me and my family have a freaking ball together the, I am the go-to person I am going to tell my family when they get on the celebration that I am so impressed with them because I told them if y'all going to be tagging along with us on this trip you need to take responsibility for yourself I can't manage y'all because I am technically at work I am technically hosting a group of people that I need to make sure it's taken care of. And I can't stop and, and, and get a cash out from you <laughs> and pay on your cruise. I can't do that. I'm so impressed with them because they have, I think they've asked me one question that was about flights. Right. That's they have done everything on their own. I said, look at y'all growing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so Kim said, no, I didn't spend half or a third before I won. Okay. That's what, okay. All okay. right. Thanks for the one ninety nine. Put that hey, wait, money away. This ain't the like slot machine. <laughs> said that was actually my first cruise wow. in eight years. Wow. Wow. Hey, Steve. What's up, Steve? That's fam right there. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the one ninety nine super chat, too, as well, fam. Uh, uh, find our all inclusive better for two to four days and cruises better for a week or more. The variety of ports and options match my ADHD. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. that's exactly what I said. Cause when I, I was like, what do I do with these? Like I'm tired of being on this water. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can relate. I'm like, I got to do something else. All right, let me see if that way. Boom, boom, boom. What up? My skin looks great. I see what the derm. Look out. Side note: I had to go to the dermatologist today. I will tell you, especially melanated people. PSA: If you have benefits, wherever health benefits, go to a dermatologist once a year and make sure they check your body over especially we talking about vacations and you're out and being exposed to the sun make sure that they are calculating your moles different skin spots areas all over your body you will have to be naked but we do die of skin cancer too so that was what i went to today was every yep. year i go and i get them to once over they go all in your hair they look at your follicles make sure that nothing looks crazy or anything that they have to keep an eye on so Make sure that y'all are doing that, especially because we like to be out in that Caribbean sun and we don't always use our sunscreen sunblock like we should. But I segue to say, she looked at me today and she was like, what are you using on your face? Are you using anything that I prescribed you? I said, mm -mm, that stuff burn. I went back old school. I went back to Noxzema. Yeah, and that sea was, breeze. Yeah, that Noxzema was the was the, the plug back in the day. She said your skin is immaculate. <laughs> I said, <laughs> well, thank you. That comes. That's big coming from you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go back over in here. Said, so would you ever think about doing NCL? Has not been on the radar. It hasn't been on the radar, and I will honestly say, I feel the vibe that I will be searching for with NCO. I feel like I can get it on Royal. So it's not like an incentive or a major benefit for me to go over there, if that makes sense. What's up, Lady Ray said, your video influenced me to book a Virgin Cruise. That's what's up. Somebody said they don't hear no sound. You don't hear no sound? Beverly, no sound? Everybody else, can y'all hear? Hear, 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 hear. We gone. Let me see. Hit turn your volume back up on your um iPad right quick. Hold on. Okay, I can hear myself. Yeah, okay. so we good. Okay. It, turn your turn your volume up, Beverly. <laughs> All right. Okay. I got scared <laughs> for a moment because technology be teching. So I was like, we've been talking this whole time and nobody can hear. All but right. yeah, I would have been in the chat. We can't hear. They say we influence you to do a virgin. And I will tell you this: as much as we love virgin, because our personalities are very um, Virgin is not for everybody. Right. There are some people that go on Virgin and absolutely hate it. There are most people that go on it and absolutely love it, mm -hmm. like we do. So, if your vibe yeah. is like our vibe, and you, did you just drink my water? Yeah, my mouth is dry. <sighs> can't yeah. can't have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> Welcome to being in a marriage. <laughs> But anyway, uh, what else All we right. got? What's going on, Billy? Billy? Thank you for the 199 super chat. What do you um, both feel about the Vala and Cozumel? Cozumel is a good time. Cozumel is a great. Cos time. I don't give a good yeah. goddamn when nobody say Cozumel ain't never did me wrong. Right. Whether even, we even went there last time, the last time was a little bit, it was, it was low key. Yeah, it was low key. We but still we still had, had, a, had a good, good time. time. Yeah, Valor have not been on a Valor. Um, like I said, it's an older ship, so it's not in my home port, so I have not. But people enjoy it. All right, what's up, Tracy? Thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. What's up? 
<laughs> Say hi, Queen Lynette and Stanley. <laughs> Said we love your videos. We're cruising in July of 2024 on the on the Carnival Horizon. Now that's the ship that we gonna circle back, and we have to do the Horizon. Yeah, we have to do that. I don't care. Like everybody, even Stanley's barber, he's been on the celebration, and he prefers the Horizon. Like everybody like, loves the Horizon. Yeah, he was like, if they take and put the check, big chicken on the Horizon, he was like, it's, it's over. over for you. Yeah, so and I was like, now you got me going, wanting to go even more now. Yeah, and the horizon goes to the um the ABC Islands, so definitely something on our radar, but maybe not like immediately, immediately. Cruise burnout is a thing. Absolutely, yes, indeed. yeah, DQ, it is definitely a burnout thing. Yeah. Yes, when we got off that last cruise, I was like, I I love you, but I need to put a little space in between mm -hmm. you and myself because. I'm starting to certainly virgin because look how many times we did it. I started to learn the rotations, the songs, the list, yeah, the movements. Like I could be a part of the cast at this point because I started I started remembering it. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I gotta put a little space in. Between. But I think it's it's all the the eating and the drinking that we be yeah. doing and all that by the time and you get that to ain't day even five my vibe. And I'm day over seven, it. You just like. I need to just get in the bed because mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't what I we do. Recruit, yeah, but on vacation, that's what we do. <laughs> Go in, yeah. And I like the latter part of the year. I was just like casual, like real casual with it, because it was it. It do it take a toll on you, and I gained so much weight last year by going on vacations the way that I did. Yeah, me too. I was like, okay, the the tush is tushing. Never been a problem with that, but I was like the stomach that, and and I've always had a double chin. I don't care how small I've been; it's always been there. It's a family <laughs> trait. I was like, yeah, I got the we got to fix this, so I got my butt back on my elliptical, and I've been doing my thug thizzle. There you have. All right, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Let me see. I ain't missing nobody there. Let's see. Uh, Hard rock or breathless. Depending on which location. So it's yeah. probably going to be breathless. Yeah, but not breathless in Punta Cana. All right. So are there any all-inclusive resorts in the U.S. that you would recommend? No, there's no none yeah, in the all, U.S. Yeah, all the ones we've been to. If there are, I'll definitely stand yeah, corrected, but no. Yeah, I can't mm -hmm. think of any. Yeah, you no. said them, they're not all-inclusive. Now, they do have really nice resort vibe things. It's like Marco Island, Florida is really nice. Um, we went to, it's not all inclusive by far. It's expensive. But the last time we went on the Icon, we stayed at um, Diplomat in Hollywood, Florida. Yeah. Gives you all inclusive vibes, but it's not all but inclusive. All yeah, you still got to buy groceries <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah. Our breakfast <laughs> cost us. yourself. Well, our breakfast would have cost us about $100. But we got comped. And I think that was because we were filming. And the manager came over and was like, how is everything? And I was like, it's great. Like, it's good. We never got a bill. Like, we signed it. It never got it. Never was charged to us. Yeah. What's up? Let me see. I, I want to say your name right. Uh, Lachelle? Or Sonico? Sonico the D was said, normally... I'm team. I'm I'm normally team all inclusive. Recently, I took my first cruise. I don't know. I'm oh, thinking, that's my I, baby, right? That's I, my girl. I, so I know. I think I'm gonna come in that little cruise. I like I, that. I think you are too. So I, enjoy, Lord, did you? I enjoy the Lord of the Seas. Yes, that indeed. a Lord did you? I'm telling you, you better get on that um, one from Charleston before they take it up out of here. Hmm. Before it come to Virginia, get your family on it. I saw your video. Get them on it. What's up, Lachelle? Lachelle said, I absolutely love your channel. I began watching your channel when you went on the Virgin Voyages, and I've been hooked. Come on. I, I was interested in the Virgin Voyages Western Caribbean because of you guys. Hey. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm looking at some really interesting itineraries for next year. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Oliver Twist again? Say, what's the average age We've been range? Here. Oh, did we do that one? But he might have retyped it. Retyped it again, yeah. Uh, Ryan says, Oh, we, we, oh, we be back, Ryan. We be back. 
All right. Um, What's going on, Lamar? Thank you. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Mm -hmm. So, hey, my beautiful people, I'm going on the Carnival Magic. Thanks to your reviews. I have everything set except for my travel insurance. What do you guys recommend? If you're not hardcore on researching, just go ahead and do what the cruise line um, offers. For me, I do travel insured. And that's because I have an annual plan because we mm -hmm. just travel so much is more cost effective yeah, just to sense. have a blanketed policy. Um, but Allianz is good. What else? Um, travel Guard is good. Um, see what is covered under your um, the credit, card. credit card. See if you pay for your entire cruise on the same card. See if there's any benefit there and actually like see what it covers because sometimes it don't be covering a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, 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 uh, Kim, Kim. This, this is not a slot machine. Okay, I'm going to put my, she's like, okay, I'm going to put my coin back in my purse. <laughs> Love y'all. We appreciate you, honey. So my goal is for my husband and me to one day Join y'all on a group cruise. Come on. But we love an all-inclusive. Well, you might like the one that we got well, coming, up. coming up. coming up. Yeah. So we can't you don't talk make about it, on the it cruise, though. Yeah. So you don't make it on the cruise, you can make it on there. Yep. And thanks for the, uh, the 999 Super Chat. Greatly appreciated once again. But put that pocketbook back in the room. Wherever you keep it, in the dresser, <laughs> I need to be in, no, in no, the no. closet, like, in the shelf. Like the old people say, in the bureau. In the bureau. <laughs> <laughs> in the bureau. <laughs> <laughs> well, grandma said, go in my bureau and get that um uh, get that um that socket that it got the change in it. All right, so what was that? What's up, um, Gregory? What's up, fam? I was just speaking to somebody. Go back up. Da -da 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 I'm I I'm uh you you switched it up on me and I can't figure out where I was at. Okay, go up. Oliver the Ryan, it was Ryan, go up. All right, so do you think that Carnival Magic is a good fit for first cruise? Is it worth spending a little extra for the celebration on the Mardi Gras? First cruise, okay. Mm. See, here's is it gets a little tough because when it comes to Carnival, once you do a celebration on the Mardi Gras, there's nowhere up to go. Right, you're at the top. You're at the top of their premium line until they come out with their megas in a couple of years. So if you want to be humble, <laughs> do the magic, then maybe uh, next year, six months from now, do the celebration, and then you'll be able to really see the difference. But my fear for you is that if you go celebration and then you go like on the magic, you'll be like, what is this? Mm. You want my opinion? Go big. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go to the car dealer. Here and, it is. <laughs> and they have the used version of your car that you want. And they have the 2024 version that's only a few thousand dollars more. Which one are you going to buy? I like how you did that. Yeah. I like how you did that. Say I'm going on the celebration for Mother's Day with my family. We be there. Yeah, we be on there. So if you see us, come on up. Say hi. Say hello. Yep. I was thinking about the Carnival Celebration our last trip. When I was thinking about fresh, which is the funniest thing ever, because we get on there and we just be vibing with people. Fresh was standing up there doing professional pictures. Yeah. Like he's <laughs> he's full in a photo shoot. We walk by and he said, Hey yo, jump yo, in this go picture. Pictures. We have professional pictures with fresh. And I'm in the <laughs> middle and I said, Why I look like I got two husbands? <laughs> I said, this is the picture that I would have to explain every time somebody see me, like, why are you in a professional picture with right, you guys? Right. Let's see. What's up, Slim? The, the pyro? Hope I said that right. If not, forgive me. Facts about family resorts. We went to the Dreams. Uh, as a family. As a family, kids were gone, gone all, all day. day. <laughs> and we was able to relax all day. Saw them when we woke up, went to eat. And went to bed. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, they. I mean, them family resorts have everything in mind because they are creating the ultimate experience. All right, Mr. Golden said thoughts on the Carnival Dream. Dream is cool. Dream breeze, cool ships. Yep, they're in the same line as um the Magic. So, yeah. 
I love the size. It may not be my aesthetic, um, and they are a little bit older ships, but I love the size of the Magic. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect size. Like It's big enough that you don't feel like people are over top of you, but small enough that you feel it's so walkable. Yeah. Say, so, uh, Valor fam is my fam. Uh, Glory is my first ever crew. Some years, mm -hmm. ours too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ours too. Keep said, Valor is my favorite. Glory is a similar ship, but I haven't been on it yet. Taking my mom on the Glory this September, her first cruise. I just love it when I hear people taking uh -huh. their first job, man. Yeah, I just now love the one it. thing I do remember about the Glory that I like because we were caught in uh in a freaking storm yeah it's, um, yeah so is much that, that cruise. the i don't know what you call it on a cruise awning maybe no we'll just say an awning that when it started to rain is that they actually have an awning that covered the lido deck but it was slow coming in right. we got wet by then but i did like that on the glory What's up, Malika? Thank you so much for the one ninety nine super chat. We greatly appreciate, appreciate it. That. Yes, we do. Do I prefer Caribbean? Oh, where are you? You I'm, keep. I'm, I'm got, I, I, hey, just, just let me run. <laughs> let, let me run the race, and I'm gonna get you there, right? There we go. All right. There we go. All right. So, do we prefer the Caribbean or the Mediterranean? What and what time of year? Two totally different vibes. Right. Caribbean is, I mean, um, the med is one of those things that's like, once you do it, you got to put some space in between it because those itineraries are so, oh, you walk and you walk and you walk and they're so cultural. And then you get the party in the nightlife. Nobody parties like they do in Europe. I'm just going to tell you that, yeah, put that right out now. Yeah. So it's an experience. Like it's not your Caribbean where you go and everything is tropical and pretty. And we've been saying this. Once you start going to the Caribbean islands, they all kind of start, start looking seeming alike, alike and yeah. vibing alike. Yeah. Not in the med. Like yeah. you can go to this island, totally different vibe. Go over there. Totally different vibe. You can be in Mykonos on this side of the island and then on that side of the island, and you be like, oh, okay, I see where the young people at, and I see where the people that are escaping the, oh, the young people live at. It's it's just a vibe. But when it comes to the mat, very important because it gets hot as hell. Yeah, dude. Hot as hell. We went in June, June. June, yeah. Whew. They said come April, May, then skip June, July. You can do like the end of August, but August, September, and October are their months yeah. to come because it's very nice. And by the end of like that August, September, October, the water is finally heating up. I didn't right. realize this when we yeah. were over there, but they were like, it doesn't matter how hot it is in um, Greece. The water does not get warm. Mm -hmm. It's because the water is so deep. That it takes the entire season for the water to come up the yeah. temp. Yeah, the water is ice water. Like when I tell you, you but it feel good though. I, I, I couldn't do it. Unless you go when it's really hot, it feel good. Oh, it, it was but it's, something. But it's, but it's cold though. Yeah, but the med it was a time, baby. It was a time. And when you're yeah. in Mykonos and you're able to go back and forth from the ship because you're there overnight, like the the ship is basically home right. front. You get tired. No, let me go rest my feet. All right, let's get back on the tender. Go back out on the island. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. So I guess she said that all to say, uh, fam, do both. Because they're different. But the, the vibe is different. <laughs> yeah, they're different. The vibe is totally different. So, hey, Brandy. What's up? What's up, fam? Thought you were my cousin for a minute. Say, I just love you. We love you back. Hey, Sonia. What's up, Sonia? I have done both and prefer all-inclusive life. My husband and I feel like we can relax, really relax at an all-inclusive. I've and only relaxed once at all-inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> I've only relaxed once. And it felt good, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. But I'm going to tell you what impressed me. When I, came, when I had wrecked my room, because we had dinner reservations in... I just wrecked the bathroom and I knew, I mean, our, our butler concierge came in every night and did turn down. I didn't realize that this man was going to come into the bathroom and everything that I left, makeup brushes, all of that. He cleaned them up, mm -hmm. lined them up really nice and neat, stacked them by height. 
I was like, oh, God, I'm, I'm embarrassed that you even had to do this. <laughs> What's hey, up, Manisha. Von Disa? Thank you so much for the 1999 Super Sash. Says, shouts out to Lynette. Aww. Let's just say she is the professional that everyone Aww. says she is after putting up with my shenanigans. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> or trying to book a virgin, I guess, book a virgin, probably virgin uh -huh. trip. Lynette, you are a real one. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate you means for trusting, trusting You said it hurt, me. but it means a lot. Because of some stuff that we'll be talking about that we pride ourselves on what we do in our business. Mm -hmm. And you just, you are, you speaking to that and that. Yep. Yeah. So you saying it to her, but it's, but it's, it's for speaking us. speaking to our but core. It's for us. <laughs> he ain't gonna let me leave. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. But no, my thing is, is there is no need in having a business if your customer service sucks or, you're in it and you just treat people as if they're another number. No, you didn't have to come over here and use me as your travel agent. But since you did, then you get me like you get my services. You get me going the extra mile. Right. All right. What's up, Miss Lisa? Lisa. Miss Lisa Lisa said, have you seen the new ship from Royal Star of the Seas? Yep. Us travel agents see it like six months before y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you how it works with your travel agent is you actually have to go through trainings to learn the ships so that once they hit, you'll be able to know what the heck you're talking about. Because when the floodgates open, they open. So you go through all of these simulations and you go through all of these 3Ds and 40s and all of this. And so you pretty much learn it. So that's how I was able to be a little bit more familiar with Icon. Um, but it's still nothing like when you get on board and then you start connecting the dots. Right. And like, oh, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. Harry, so, I am. Harry I agree. said, ring the doorbell in my Addy voice. <laughs> yes. So make sure that y'all hitting that thumbs up button. If you don't see it, then just go ahead and like minimize your window. Bring it back up. You'll see the thumbs up button. Love you too, Valerie. There's 444 y'all in it. But the thumbs up is not a bad ratio. We got 311 thumbs up. So y'all are on it. On tonight. Hey, what's Robert. Up, what's up, Robert P? Say you guys have really helped us decide to take our first cruise that's Aww, what's up glad we, we was able to be a yeah. part of, of that decision process what are you going on i missed um i want to know say so uh, be on a celebration in december great one say we missed the deadline for the may 12th yeah but, but still, still we'll, we'll be, be on, on the ship, ship. can't but wait we, to hang out with y'all absolutely can't wait make to sure. meet you can't wait to meet you so make sure you come up Cause you know what happens is people will see us in real life and then they'd be like, I didn't want to bother you. No, if I'm out and about, bother me. <laughs> yeah. If I don't want to be bothered, you you're not going to see, gonna see, gonna me. see me. Yeah. yeah you're going to see us. Yeah, yeah. Bother me. What's up? Uh, Sharonda Lynn Newton says, I say have multiple streams of income. And I clicked on that cause I agree with you. 100 percent yep yep you got to have multiple streams even being a travel agent this is not my only stream of income right so no. yeah <laughs> so in the class we might even teach that too yeah the how to have multiple streams of income as a travel agent yeah uh, what's up ej what's going on ej stop it <laughs> <laughs> i said new cruiser here for the month of march <laughs> yeah because like i said ej cruises way more than we did say what's that other drink you said uh so try besides tokyo tea headed um jubilee in two days probably the sidecar is it it might have been the hennessy sidecar or, or the, the um party the um it's the other um uh it's the other tea um hmm? got the Tokyo tea. There's a it's another tea. Um the clear, it's the clear color one. So Tokyo is blue. This one is a clear color tea. Um I have no idea. Um it's another it, I think you're talking about the other one, the other so yeah, the Hennessy side card, and it's another tea. When it comes to me, even if pop my head, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> this shows I made so many mistakes on my all-inclusive trip to uh, PR in January that ain't even funny. <laughs> but I will say this, even as much as you prepare and learn, there's still going to be mistakes to be made. I'm going to be honest, when we got on um, 
our first Royal Caribbean trip. Y'all think that I'm the expert of all things and I do, I, I know what I'm talking about, but I also have a learning curve to, to do as well. And I'm usually the person that I'm like, this is this, that, and that. When we got on that Royal Caribbean, I felt like a fish out of water. You hear what I say? <laughs> and when I tell you we spent so much money, because for one, I was thinking that Royal Caribbean was kind of going to be like um, Carnival when it came to like the drinks. We can drink on Carnival and never even come close to the price of the drink package. Right. Royal Caribbean, even with us being modest, because we are, well, sometimes modest drinkers on vacation. We started hitting up there quick. By the time we finished that voyage, we could have had the drink package and and saved a couple. I'm not a modest drinker on vacation. He's not. I am. Yeah. Hey, I got. I, I, I throw them back on vacation. Mm-hmm. And then doesn't drink alcohol hardly ever at home. Oh yeah. Let's see. Uh. Tybo said all inclusive is better. All right. Expans- Expansion Automotive said question. <laughs> horror story. <laughs> said, I didn't listen to your advice last year, and me and my sister and brother is in, in law enforced. Law- brother in law forced my husband. husband to go on a Carnival Mardi Gras in August. We all came back mad at each <laughs> other. <laughs> I would take my mom now. <laughs> Listen, who yeah. you take is 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 dang near three fourths of the, of the freaking success of your trip. Right. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I stopped doing girlfriends trips because we were coming back with one less girlfriend. Like we didn't leave them, but we want friends when we got back because everybody is not for you to be in these close quarters or be immersed into each other's lifestyle. Right. As much as we loved each other, like we would come back and not talk for months. And I'm like, I'm not doing girlfriend trips no more because I feel like we need therapy afterwards. Because my thing is when we go on a vacation, aren't you here to be with us? You on the phone with arguing with your baby daddy and you on the phone arguing with your kids because they want pizza rolls. And you <laughs> you could have stayed home. And now that I say it's something, okay. I'm it's wrong. Over. It's over. It's, it's not over. over. It's over. Then the friend that I'm talking about, she's now deceased. Rest in it's peace, over. Toya. What's up, Miss J? Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. We greatly appreciate, appreciate it. You. And since you did that, uh, shameless plug for those of you who don't know, we do offer memberships on the channel. We have one, which is our gold membership, Mm -hmm. where you just can just support the channel. And then we have one that is a vlog level where you want to support the channel, but you also want to see our behind the scenes vlogs of us on vacation, at Mm -hmm. home, Mm -hmm. in the grocery store, whatever. Whatever. Just our life outside of this. This. Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, you can you can do that. But thanks again, Miss J. Orange up? Swan, thank you. Ooh, 15 day. So going on 15 day, August 6th, Hawaiian Carnival Cruise on the Miracle. What can you say about that ship? Can't speak to it. Have not been on that ship. But when it comes to those longer itineraries, they usually use the older ships. But Trust me, for the amount of money y'all paying, you're going to be fine. <laughs> you're going to be fine. <laughs> uh, hey, What's PRT. up, pretty girl? What's up, fam? Thank you for the $9.99 super chat. Greatly appreciate that. You say, I don't even care what cruise line I'm selling, but I do care about what all-inclusive I stay at. I'm not staying at some places that college... Ca- uh, yes. Said nope. Yes. <laughs> That's why I say Ryu is the cousins. Yeah, I'm like that with um hotels. Like I don't stay in hotel. I always call them the, the hotels that look like Martin Luther King was assassinated at them. I'm not ever gonna do that. Uh-huh. Not ever. What's up, Sharondalyn? Once again, said does using a travel agent cost more money than booking on your own? My friend says that using a travel agent costs more because of the commission. No. Well, technically, no. Now, there are travel agents like myself. I do charge a planning fee. But other than that, your cruise fare is going to be the exact same whether you do direct 
or you do with the cruise line because right. the commission, whether or not everyone knows this or not, commission is built into every cruise. Every price. It's yep. whether or not you will allow someone like me to receive it or it washes back into the, the cruise line. Yeah. But it's already built in. Yep. And so like if you go like to Expedia, or Expedia any, gets commission. Uh, Priceline, all those, yep, they get the commission. They so. are housed travel agent mm -hmm. businesses, if you want right. to say it like that. So yeah. Yep. Somebody's gonna make commission off of whether it's the company, or agent, or a big box company like Third Expedia. Party. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Great question. Oops, got that. All right. Line. So you guys are quite intelligent. You know, it's thank you, fam. We it appreciate comes, you. It's, I'm 45. It comes and goes some days. This is such a great <laughs> insight. Thank, thank you. you, fam. Um, and see our getaway this winter. Cool. With Let's see what freestyle cruising, cruising is all about. Okay, okay. I can't wait. So the locks are getting longer. Yeah, and I don't cut off like four inches. It's crazy how fast my hair grows. Right. What's up, um, Anthony? Said my wife and I love you guys and think think you are amazing and informative. You. Do you still help with all inclusive packages? We want to go to Jamaica for our anniversary in February of 2025. I don't. Um, what I have been doing, if like past clients ask me, I will do it for them. Um, but anyway, else, I refer you to Addie and Terry. They're amazing. They do all inclusives. I just don't have the bandwidth <laughs> to do cruises at the at the capacity that I do and do all inclusives at the same yeah. time. Because I don't want to miss in my customer service. Because right. that's not fair. Said, not, 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 not Captain George. Mm -mm. <laughs> all right. What's the up, wife Kevin? likes cruising, but I prefer all inclusive. It's usually one person that loves one more than the other. I think he switched over to loving cruises more than all inclusives. I love all inclusive. Yeah, I still, I still, I still love all inclusives more than what you call it, but I'm leaning more to the cruises because I can see more. Like we talked about, mm -hmm. I can see more countries at once. I agree yeah. that. Hey, I can, Toya, I can get two or three for the price of one. So doing the Alaska mm -hmm. cruise, Carnival Luminosa. Heard exciting things about this cruise. That's gonna be a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, I've paid off. I've paid my all inclusive off the day I booked them. Are there ways to pay on it just like you would a cruise? Yes, if mm -hmm. you do it. Um, at least three months in advance, you can do payments. Yep. Definitely. And with that said, with um, cruises as well, for those who don't know, if you're booking a cruise 60 to 90, 60, yeah, 60, well, two to three months in advance, you won't have payments either. Yeah. Because cruise lines make you pay it within that time frame. All depends mm -hmm. on which one it is. Yep. So, How do I feel about cruising pregnant? Um. Well, one, if you you a certain amount of weeks, the cruise line will not allow you to cruise. But for the most part, I think that if it's up to the person to judge whether or not they think they're going to fare well, if everything is going to be okay, they're in good health, and they just feel like they can make the voyage and come back, yeah, it's cool. What's up, Tanya C? Say, why are Virgin Voyages prices so high right now? It's not just Virgin. It's everybody. Yeah. The price is pricing, and and it's I think the it, it's the demand. It's the demand. It's, it's a competitive world right now. Right, they're gonna Royal Caribbean is dropping got doing ships like Death Row dropping records, like so everybody's price is going up. The only good thing that I can say about Virgin is because it's nearly all inclusive. Once you drop that down, yeah, you good. You basically good to go unless, unless you want to buy a bar tab, right? But yeah, but yeah. Yeah, that's what happens. So that's why we tell people like like the price you see now looks like it's gonna be the best price. Some mm -hmm. cases they might drop it back down, but now as we go closer it's into the closer summer, in. it's gonna be like the demand goes and the prices will keep on scouting. rising. Now, probably if you take and book a version out, you know, further out in 2025, 2026, it probably be a little cheaper um, than this year right now. 
And intercontinental. Oh, intercontinental is bay. Yeah, that's 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 the plug. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Listen, they know us by name. <laughs> <laughs> Say, well, um, our buddy Patrick, our yeah. buddy Patrick, boy, every time he see us, come, <laughs> come, come, and he hooks us right on up. Um, say, I love first time cruise tips. Question: Do you ever have military? Oh, we did that one. Um, yeah, this one. Oh, where we at? Expansive uh, automotive. Would what you guys ever, just... ever try the um, glory again? Nope. I think I might <laughs> nope. be like a full circle moment for y'all. Nope. Unless they bring it to our home port. Yeah, if it comes if it, to our if, home port, I'll yeah, do it again. Yeah, we'll do it, but we won't fly and fly mm. do it. I'm finally catching you guys, <laughs> even though I'm late. late. That's all right. I'm brutally but honest. Long time, though. <laughs> Any ideas on how to discount on Delta Airlines flights? How to discount on Delta Airlines? Uh, but if you find out, you let, let me know. know. <laughs> but we love flying Delta, though. Yeah, Delta. Yeah, I do have a Delta credit card for the reason of being right. able to get points. Right. And free check luggage and free upgrades. Other than that, but Delta did have a. If you have um a Delta card, and if you have a certain amount of miles, make sure you're checking your emails for Delta this week because Delta emailed out a promo code that you can use towards certain cruises. Don't mm -hmm. ever say I ain't tell you nothing. <laughs> All right. Would you guys ever tr um, consider celebrity cruises? Yes. yes, we are talking it's about that. It's on my that. radar. I yeah. want to do it, but I want to do it with other people. Yeah. Because I'm afraid it may be too grown for me and I might get bored. Who outside my house? Hold on. Y'all keep talking. All I right. got you while you're checking that out. All What's right. up, Larry? So my wife and I are going on our honeymoon cruise on a magic this year. What is the best? A hotel in Fort Lauderdale is the best place to stay at. Um, Fort Lauderdale would be. We stayed at. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, okay. They were racist. Um, oh yeah. Um, what's the other one? Gosh, it's the one that Jennifer Danielle stays at all the time. Oh crap. E When, when this is over, make sure you hit my link down in the description field where I have it because it's yeah, on we'll that able, list. Yeah, we'll put it but on. But I just yeah. can't think of right now. Having um having a senior moment. I don't see nothing outside, but my camera show did trigger. So, so if you see me hurry up and get up, I just had to break the glass. Beautiful brother, are you guys full-time travel agents now? Absolutely. Yes, we are. We've been full-time since... 2021. Yep. Yes. So three years. We've been full time. Was three it years. on purpose? Yes and no. It was on purpose for me. Yeah. Because <laughs> eventually Stanley was going to retire me and he was going to stay in and hold down the fort. And then corporate America said, we don't need now one of y'all. Laid off both of us at the same at time. At the same time. So I best... got my check and I was gone. <laughs> said it was the best thing that ever happened to us. Cash money. Let me yep. stop. <laughs> yeah, we are we are full time. Full yes. time. And and I will say we had the fortunate opportunity to have prepared for this. So yes. this wasn't something that just landed in our lap and it was just who it happened. No, we've been preparing for this for years. Since 2018. Yeah. So yeah. for us to be able to transition seamlessly into full-time entrepreneurship was a blessing that it yeah. happened the way that it happened. Yeah, and we had that we had that 12 months saved up that we talked about earlier that mm -hmm. we feel like if you want to jump out into the entrepreneurial world, uh have that that 6 12 months saved up even even if your business is making money, it's just taking that pressure off of yourself of wondering yeah. like this month if I'm going to make money it don't make a difference because I already got it. I got side, it in so there. if I don't make it this month, I'm good. I can pull it from there until my money catch up with me. Yeah. Ashley, thank you so much. It's the AC Marriott in uh, Fort Lauderdale. That's oh, the hotel. Perfect. I, I I literally was looking at it and I was like, I can't get it off the top of my tongue. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Uh, I'm going to say Amara Amilla? Pressful. If, if we said that wrong, forgive yeah, us. I know I did. Hi, live with uh, Life with Us TV. Hey. Lynette and Stanley, really enjoy your channel and the valuable information. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So you can't stop watching 
you so excited for my grown and sexy the last week of July. I definitely want to try the drink with the crickets. <laughs> Love you, Rochelle. Hey, Rochelle. Rochelle. <laughs> Everyone tried. For some reason, it was a bet that the people within our group was making against me. And, and me too. They were there. Yeah, it was more like, like you need to try. Like, mm. but they were like, if this, this, this happened, Lynette gotta take a drink with the crickets. How the hell I get in this? <laughs> I'm not doing it. But a lot of people enjoyed the drink. They liked it. So Harris said, "I'm a vet, and the family cruise discount uses better than the cruise lines." The fam discount, yeah, I agree. All right, let's see. What's sometimes? Up? What's up, KD Dixon? Hey, Lynette and Stanley. What up? Fun fact: middle name is Lynetta. All right. Hubby and I agree. We you all day. We're booked for the palace. Lost Las Americas. Americas and hitting the cruise later this year. Yep. Thanks for the words of wisdom. Yep. You are so welcome. Say, I told you, if you do the reuse, you got to book the palace. Got to go in the palace, but party at the rest of them. Yeah. See you on the show. Dude. No. What's going on, Tanya? I see you in the chat. What's going on, family? What's up, family? Tanya, I'm trying to make them flights work, boo. I'm trying. Because <laughs> if not, you're going to see me. If they, they work, you're going to see me. Because I want to go back. But they, the flights is ignorant. So, right. What else you got? Right, um, back in the mix. Mm. All right. What's up, 44 Links? Two questions. First question, do you all pl plan on going on the Utopia of the Seas when it comes out? Question number two, uh, when will you start booking for the new Carnival Private Island? Um, Utopia to Seas, are we going to do like an inaugural? I don't think so. Probably not. But I will never say never again. again we weren't going to do this to do the icon. Because we yeah. got jumped into the icon. Yeah, so. In know, a good way. Now, God might got another plan. God might have another but plan. We but I, we have plan. no plans to do an inaugural, but I do want to do it. Yeah, I do want to do it. Am uh, when would I book the private island? I'm booking the private island now. I have several people booked on it. It's certain ships that are already out there ready to go. But of course, you can't go right now. But the bookings are there. Right. All right. What's up, Marcia? Said thank you all. Thank you guys for all you do. Y'all have given me so much peace about traveling. Aww. Your information and experience is invaluable. Thank you. Thank you. That's why we do it. All right. We don't like when people go and and is you have to learn on the job. Right. So learn before you go. Learn before you go. What's up, Bree? Thank Say, you. Thank you. Looking Bria. good, Lord. Love your hair, Lynette. Thank you. All right. Say what's not included. Angela, say what's not included in an all-inclusive resort. Usually what's not included is some of the like spa. Of course, spa. And um, then sometimes some, most of them have like their water sports that are on the property. When yeah. I say water spa, I'm talking about like the banana boats, canoes, canoes and stuff like that. Yeah. Most of them are included, but Parasailing. some of them will charge you for that. Um, regular excursions are not included. For the most part, everything else is included. Even like their specialty restaurants are included. What's up, Renee? Say, hey, Lynette and Stanley. I'm from the DMV. What and up? Love your channel. I have a group that's booked on a celebration Ooh. for Thanksgiving. Can we transfer our booking to a room to you and you become our travel agent? For the entire booking, definitely email me, honey. <laughs> email me so we, I can talk about... um when it was formatted and all of that, because it's, it's 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 some red tape, but email yeah. me. Yeah, cofundtravel at gmail.com. Yeah, and we can talk about whether or not it's, it's even possible. So right. I don't want to steer you wrong. All right, let's see. What's up, Ebony? Say, hey, hey guys, love your channel. I'm going on my first cruise on March, May the 9th, the 13th on, on a miracle. Channel has been so helpful. I Thank appreciate you. That. You are so welcome. Can you still help with booking a cruise? Like booking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if it's carnival, I'm not booking carnival right now. Um, because yeah, I'm at my max capacity. <laughs> like yeah. I said, I'm not gonna let my uh, customer service dwindle because I got too much on my plate. But Virgin but and Royal, Virgin and Royal are open right now. Yeah. It's until we can get the, the carnivals 
What's up, David and Tanisha? What's going on, fam? Said going on the sunshine for my birthday in October this year. All right. Then the breeze in uh, August of 2025 for our 10 year anniversary. Vow renewal. renewal. We are sending y'all videos to our guests. That's what's up. Appreciate it, fam. Appreciate it. We need to renew our vows one day. Yeah. I want to do it on the island, but our family don't travel like that. Like, it's only certain ones that will travel with us. Maybe we should do it on our 25th anniversary. <sighs> Shit, that's right here. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that'd be 2020 shame. Yeah, that's crazy to say out loud. Yeah. All right. Hey, what's going on, what's Joe? Going, what's going again? on, Joe? Say my, uh, my favorite cruise information channel. Thank you, Lynette and Stanley Sailor on the Freedom and May the Six. Yeah. All right, let me see. Uh... Um, all See, right. we it. saw that one. We you got that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we yeah, did. We that's did. the one you you basically told him go on and do yeah. that <laughs> celebration. Say NCO gives a ten percent discount. discount. Okay. Yeah, Carnival swear they do too. But if you look at the numbers, say so what about RCI or Ryu? Mm, um, RCI is fine. I didn't even think about them. Ryu Palace. Ever been on NCO? Nope. nope. Thank you, True Story. Appreciate so I want to go to the resort in Barbados. I feel like we've read that before. Let's see. Is Rio a good company for all inclusives? Um, you have to know that it is the party resort. Everybody that comes to Rio is coming for a good time, not for a long time. But like I said, Book Palace. Palace is going to be where you're. It's, it's it's the most expensive. Right. So it's going to eliminate the the people that's just wanting to be there to beach on the entry level. But you can party everywhere. All right. I still see it's how many of you guys in has. And one thing about Ryu is Palace can go to everybody else's resorts. The other resorts can't come to Palace unless you had a certain one. Right. So See, it's still 418 you 18 of you guys in the house. If you have not smashed that like button, please do so if you're getting any value out of this live. Yeah. How long have we been in? We've been here for a minute. Uh, two hours. We about ready to jump up off of here. But I've been enjoying my time yeah, with y'all. Y'all yes, woke me indeed, up. Y'all, yeah, you just, y'all no. woke me up because <laughs> I tell you, we were outside on the um deck chilling. Chilling. Yeah. Um, so cruising on spring break first week of April. God bless you. <laughs> so Groucho says so much, so you no longer have to take cartons of water on the ships anymore. So you, huh? Yeah, you gotta take them. But if you want bottled water, you have to pay for it so that they can deliver it to your room. But you can take um cartons and cans. And the reason for that is they don't care about you bringing water. It's what you bring the water in yeah. because people have been refilling the water bottles. So that's why they just banned the bottles. So Andrea, so have y'all ever stayed at the Excellence Resort? I have Hell not. not. Um, did I visit the Excellence? No. That's where... Um, um, Britt just was at Excellence. Oh, that's right. They were. What's up? The missus say, hey, I'm here. My first cruise is May. Y'all's first time cruise videos are so helpful Thank and hilarious. You. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, fam. You. And we so, don't even be thinking we're funny. Let's no, just be, just be it's us. just our personality. Yeah, it's just us being us. <laughs> just us being us. Say, what resorts had the best food? Unico. Unico. Unico 2087. Yeah. Well, 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 well. You talk, if you we go, go back to Grand Palladium, the that, jerk cut. No, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. I yeah, knew it. So it kind of like I'm gonna say a tie between yeah. Grand Palladium and Unico. Yeah, but the jerk hut, baby. Yeah. yeah, because our Jamaican, I, uh, our Jamaican family man can ooh. burn. I'm telling you, love y'all, fam. Yeah, y'all can burn. I'm telling My you, my god, and burn in a good way. I ain't talking about burning food. I'm talking about in a good way. Y'all can cook. Like we, like it, it was something. Like I, I lost my mind in that jerk hut. With everybody, jerk hut, jerk hut. When everybody had the munches, boy, everybody was tan jerk hut. What's up, dear diary? Said had um have been watching you two for for two or Whoa. three years. Wow, <laughs> and this is the kind of talk I love. I've Aww. been 
I've been scared to start a YouTube, but uh, you make me uh, make me do believe it. it's possible. Keep going. Bling. Bling. <laughs> yeah, That's do it. Day. Yeah, do it. The only difference between me and you is that I push play. I push record. That's it. So think about it this way for everybody on here that's been contemplating of starting a YouTube channel. Look at what it has done for us. Mm -hmm. And like we would have never, ever met you or been able to help you with your crews if it had not been yep. for YouTube. Come so, on now. You better so, preach it. Yeah. So YouTube is definitely bridging the connection between you and somebody across the world that you would never, ever meet a day in your life. Mm, Some that people that so you true. probably would never even speak to. But like traveling, just like. It does it. Does that, man. We sat in here one day and almost was in tears. When yeah. you think about the fact that we had been asked to do group cruises for forever. And I was like, why? And I was like. Y'all want to cruise with somebody y'all don't know and vice versa. Do I want to cruise with a bunch of people? I don't know. And so when we first entertained the idea, I was like, mm, let's go into it with our good, good friends. Um, Dre and Shan, we knew that they, they, you know, they have the same audience that we had. So let's, you know, if, if it goes plop, we can lean on each other for the duration of the cruise <laughs> at least. And it became something that I was like, I can, like, we can, do, like, this is cool. Like, we can do this. Was there growing pains? Absolutely. Were there things that may have, could have been done better? Absolutely. But it was something that I immediately had Virgin on the radar. But I said, I'm not launching Virgin until I see what that one feels and looks like after we do that. Right after that, I launched Virgin Grown and Sexy 2023. And it's yep. up from here. And when we sit here and think about the people that just, want to take the time to sail with us and have a good time not for a long time it is so humbling yes because you could be going with anybody we we launched greece 2025 and That's i think not... we have like 39 cabins booked already yeah i'm like this is freaking okay. march mm -hmm. <laughs> and you think about the people that just gravitate to you for you just being you like i ain't putting no extra on it no extra sauce nothing nope. but People are, you know, they gravitate to who we are and they come on over and we appreciate it. It's humbling. So what the heck is going on here? I gotta blow the screen up and I can't get it. Let's yeah, the, you should see our screen. It's huge <laughs> right now. Like we can't get it back down. And it's there we go, I think. But that ain't even right because you had to take it down like 60% when a hunt. There we go. There go. Now you gotta blow it back up. Now I'm back. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we back now. That was confusing. It was, but I'm about to get off here because now I can't feel my butt. I can't feel my butt. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. What's up, Music Move Ring? And thank you for being a member of the channel for Appreciate two months. It. I'm excited to take the travel Aww. agent class. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, you for trusting me. Yes, you are so welcome, and we are excited to be able to teach it finally yes finally because <laughs> i've been kicking and screaming i ain't want to do it i told y'all that <laughs> but uh not because i want to withhold information but it it's like i told you about doing like all inclusives it takes me having to change gears scrape myself up stop pivot to do something like that one of the reasons why i, I halted my carnival bookings right now because i'm literally one person i know i feel like i feel like i wear a lot of hats but in order to do something different i had to stop something temporarily so that is what's taking the sacrifice so that i can focus on getting that that cruise um i mean the um, travel agent class together yeah it's gonna be a fun one it's going to be a fun one mm -mm. What's up again, um, Blue Butterfly? Congrats on you guys uh, going full time. Thank you so Thank much. You. Greatly appreciate that. What's going on, Linda? Yep, Growing a Sexy 25 is going to be in freaking insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be insane. Yes, indeed. And I cannot wait. Can you bring unopened protein powder? You can. Yeah, you can. You can. Yep, you can do that. Yep, they don't care anything about that. I think we can put a pin right there. Yeah, that part. Yeah, this has been great, y'all. Yeah, this mm -hmm. uh, needed this tonight to chill out with y'all. Thank y'all so much for 
for coming out and stopping by and hopefully you learn something about cruising versus all inclusive and maybe got some clarity on which one you feel like is better, better for you for you to take and we're gonna catch you guys in the next video straight from the va the dirty dirty style